Hi guys, welcome to FVW Gaming. I am Flair. I'm not at the beach. I wish I was at the beach because it's cold in Kentucky right now. Joining with me, as always, is my wingman, my co-host, my compatriot. Biscuit. What's up, guys? And joining with us, as lately has been usual, um, maybe he just gets a, swick t a sick, twisted pleasure from, from being involved with us <laughs> and having to deal with our shenanigans, and my shenanigans especially, is Crash. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> How you doing, Crash? Good, good. Yeah, it's it's slightly fun. I don't know. Maybe there is something wrong with me. I don't know. We'll later. <laughs> At the very least, you two have to deal with me, and that's that's enough in and of itself. That's that's either good or bad. It really just depends. Anyways, yeah. um, we have a couple of things that we're wanting to do. Um, a couple of videos going to be related to kind of what we're talking about. Um, today we are talking about um teams in msf um and and really there was a point in the game um before i really started playing it kind of fully when i started picking it back up uh it was it went to cookie cutter kind of teams or this rough team synergy design i know early on in the game um there wasn't so much team synergy it was take characters and kind of throw them together and based on their kits and abilities now characters are built on a team Mm -hmm. And so, um, so you're not really building specific characters per se in most ways. You're building a team. And so Crash has gone through and in his 970 plus day game wisdom uh, has been setting up uh, based on the uses of teams and their values and game modes and stuff like that. What gear levels to put them at and we're going to go through that and talk about it yeah. so crash absolutely you are the mastermind behind this tab of the spreadsheet um how are you want to start this buddy so wanted to start out by obviously pointing out to um if you haven't watched um the video talking about the stopping points maybe you should stop and go do that because that's where all of these characters are um, listed under. So the numbers uh, that we're discussing are because we are using those stopping point numbers. Right. And that okay. video is going to so. be linked right up here, guys. So if you haven't yet got, seen it, click up here. That way you, you'll you have an understanding of when we say level 60 gear 10, 6664, you know what we're talking about. Yep. So, all right. Uh, so you have this, we have this broken down by the gear tiers. Um. And so do we want to start from the bottom and go to the top? How do, how do you want to start this? Um, we can. I don't know. Which way do you prefer? I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's really quick and easy if we start from the bottom and work our way through the top because there's only so many teams and characters that are sitting there. Yeah. Let's start at the bottom and get those knocked out, and then we'll get into the, 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 the really good stuff in the middle. Yeah, save the juicy okay. stuff for last. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then let's <laughs> clarify what uh, we've done. Then, If we're starting at the bottom – um, what we've talked about is we are we kind of sat down as a group and pinpointed the top 20 teams in the game as of, what, mid-February of, of 2021. Yep. And, and what we have said is these teams, uh, the top 20 teams obviously have value inside of War. Um, if they are a team then they do still have value outside of blitz. And then we just kind of built from there. So if you're looking at the spreadsheet, the very bottom line is, it's pretty straightforward. People that have no team, Ultron, Dr. Doom, regardless of how close you are, they're both very good, you know, potentially meta shifting characters. You want to, you to build them um, just pretty much as high as you, as you want, you know, in mm -hmm. reality and then scrolling over to uh, well so what we did is i started with the level 60 cap saying that you're uh, and again this is looking at a mid-game player kind of like you and biscuit are right this is a this is suggestions for you guys to build your teams and or characters to this level because they will provide you value in multiple places um, it, not necessarily me. I've got to have higher end teams than you guys do because my wars are 
a lot more ridiculous than yours. Oh, so, yeah. And plus, In- I, infinitely because harder. I have played so long, <laughs> I have more resources. I've had more time to build my characters. You know, so I, like my almost my entire roster is at the level 60 level where you that's not possible or feasible for you guys no. mm-hmm. so and, it's it's about that resource management if you're yes. beginning the game or mid game these are probably the teams you need to focus on stop um stop on these other ones yeah. so without you know really getting too deep into the um the list you've, you've got a handful of characters that have no teams because again this game has gone to a very synergy team centric game and then you've got two teams in particular that do have team tags really but not no but not really any synergy that aren't good um and so the individual characters are people like nebula um who else do we have on here iron so, fest yeah, yeah luke cage so on here to be fair i put you know you know level one gear one <laughs> iron fist luke cage leave them out leave them in the dust and, and that's kind of how you feel about those guys right because yeah. they've kind of torn defenders up Now, to be fair, I will give them a little bit of credit. Um, The defenders are still technically a team, and so until you get the Skeletary or the uh, the Shadowlands, you could build the defenders up to maybe like the level thirty, level forty five. Yeah, and especially for brand crazy, and especially for brand new players, you know the game forces you to get. Luke Cage, so mm-hmm. you yep. do. They don't te- just force you to get Luke Cage. They also force you to get a three star on him, right? On red, and they yeah. yeah. So they yeah. so new players have to invest a little bit, yeah, into yeah. Luke Cage because he's one of the f- very first three characters you get in the game: Shield yeah. Medic, Luke Cage, and OG Spider Man. Um, and yeah, so to so. do anything, you have to put a little bit of work. But I'm talking like gear three, gear four, stop. When you unlock yeah, a better I, I hero, the level, you swap them out. <laughs> yes. In our alt account, I did the level 20 gear tier four. You know, I went to that very first stopping point that we did, mm-hmm. and I, yeah. I left him there, you know, because, again, like you said, you have to build him. So, and, and if you build him a little bit, you might as well build mm-hmm. him enough to get you some blitz points or something. And yeah. that's kind of what the defenders are early. You know, there's a, they're an early blitz team. You know, I, I wouldn't build them too high, you know, for war. I mean, maybe they could get you a win in war, but they're just they're just not not very good. But unfortunately, you know, on this list are some characters that have some value. Kingpin is a is kind of a nice plug and play character for a lot of villain teams, but he doesn't have a team. You know, he's literally just oh, well, I've got four villains here without a fifth. Let's throw him on there. Right, exactly. Or you throw him with like early mercs because the summons yeah. are all have the merc tag. Right. Yeah, and then Spider-Man and Vision are kind of the same. You get Spider-Man early. He's in the same story as Luke Cage. You know, he is a brawler. He is a Spider-Verse character, but but if you start unlocking characters and you're building teams, Spider-Man's just the odd man out as is Vision. You know, obviously Vision has those tech tags that, that help, so he's worth building up a little bit, but he's nothing more than a fifth in, in a lot of teams if you don't have a character, unfortunately. So you you guys are gonna have ca- individual characters like this that after you go and you do say you do a, a whole rotation of in blitz and you use all of your normal teams you're gonna have these these random characters just sitting here and so what do you do with them? Mm-hmm. What do you do with them? Right, yeah. and, I, and especially. Um, you know, and when we talked, we're, we're, one of the videos we're going to talk about later on is blitz, um, blitzing effectively, and, and blitzing strategies with that. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna have some teams that just don't do anything for you, just don't win battles no. like you need them to. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and you want to prioritize. <laughs> you know, we're we're folks on this like sixteen to twenty top teams. These are teams that are also going to do well in blitz. The rest of the teams may fall off and at one point or another. Um, yeah. And so, you know, stuff like the hand team, you only yep. build up hand for the, the relic hunt event, right? For their monthly event or every, yeah. mo- every other month event or whatever it is. So and even then, like on this list, I don't know. I mean, I know biscuits got in the background. I don't know how easy it is yeah. to see, but there's six hand characters, you know, and you only need five for the event. So my recommendation is, is according to this list is leave hand blade master off. He has the least value currently. Now, if hand ever gets that long awaited rework, then, then, you know, he might be the, somebody that's, you know, 
worth building over somebody else. But if you're looking at, well, I say I said six, there's seven. Electra is now technically part of the Shadowland team, so it's okay mm-hmm. to to build, build her up a little hand. bit. But yeah, she has a hand tag, and people are gonna probably build her up a little bit, and she'll become probably the most geared up hand member on your team. Well, and I mean, and you, I mean, you need Hand Assassin and Nobu for Phoenix, or one of the other. You know, currently you need one of those two mm-hmm. for Phoenix. Hand Century used to be a who I have on this list twice. I see now. I was um, just about, I was getting ready to really say that <laughs> big deal. Um, like he was the key to beating the Thor boss node in, in either Mystic or Cosmic campaign. Um, and then Hand Archer, at least you know, again in the early game, he had a lot of value because he was about the only guy that could strip the ton off of Thanos. So, you know, but nowadays, again, the hand are not good. Their only value is um, uh, the the relic event. And then talking about other teams that aren't good is the Ravagers. Just ignore all of them. <laughs> At this point, you know, if if you want to unlock Star-Lord, just do the double um, the blitz farm farm and double, blitz double blitz do Mantis do and Gamora yes. and don't build Gamora very far because she's going to fall off. She's, you know, she's the first one that falls off that list. Um, but you know, it, it makes more sense to farm both of them and get star Lord than it does to get Yondu anymore because mm-hmm. he doesn't have any value right now. No. And, and as I mentioned, if you're a whale or if you, if you're a spender in the game, the guardians pack is all guardian characters. Sure. There's no ravagers in it. Right. So and it's, a, it's a, what a hundred charge of each anyway. Yeah, it's what a three, th- four star pack that it gives it's you. A three star pack. Three star pack of, of everyone. <laughs> so it's twenty five. Um, other bucks. than that, there's um, you've got Cree on here as well, Cree minions, um, and now they have a little more use now. Uh, yes, because so, Fury yeah. is a three star unlock and he's yeah. permanently available. Just like Iron uh, Man, this is as high as you need to go to unlock Fury. Yes. I did, this it? With, I did it with level 35 team because this was still, I, I had them geared up before he became a three-star unlock. I I took them to 30 and I think gear six and I added just a little bit of ISO. Yeah. And that was it. So jumping up to what you're talking about, the Cree. So the next group of, of so what we did is, is after you figure out who's worthless, which we just talked about, the Hand and the Ravagers. Um, and the, so basically it's who are the teams that are in this game that are our legit teams that do have synergy, that that can win matchups, that can win you war, uh, war attacks, splits attacks, all these things, but don't but aren't part of the top 20. <clears throat> and and so that's kind of the next group. And and some people might yell and scream about some of these, but the, the reality of it is the, the older they are, the less valuable they are just because of power creep. Yeah. And to clarify too, just if, if one of your favorite characters or a character that you really like gets said here, it doesn't mean they're not valuable. We have a whole list of characters. Hey, these pro- these characters are probably worth bringing up for something, something like Dark Dimension. But um, <clears throat> the whole list we've got here is AIM. AIM is a very solid beginning team. They're, they're great on both sides of war. Um, early, but again, you got to be careful how f- high you take them because, again, the reality of it is how good is the team when the defenders can beat them. Um, so you know, and the Guardians is another one. They're they you know used to be the top team. The BKT with Thanos and Minerva used to be the the top team in the game for everything, and now they're just not. Power creep is is terrible. Um, the Kree have kind of become that way. There are individual characters like Captain Marvel and Minerva that are valuable, but the rest are just kind of thrown together and sometimes win in Blitz. Um, you know, the Wakandans, do we need to go into the Apex Raid team? <laughs> Apex <laughs> Raid team! <laughs> now, Shuri, again, uh, another character that has a lot of value. Yes. Uh, I think I took her into DD3, and I, I don't regret that investment, honestly. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, as a legendary character, legendary characters in general are always going to have value of some sort, yeah. whether it's because, like, with Shuri, she gives a uh, first turn um, defense up, which is huge, especially if you're using her in DD3, because mm-hmm. if you're not, if you haven't experienced the joys of what we call Dark Dimension 3, you are missing out. Um, Isn't it great? <laughs> so having that first turn defense up um, is going is reducing the damage that you take just automatically by 50%. Yep. And in DD3, oh my gosh, 
That would be. I mean, huge. She gives out energy, and she's got yes. you know one of the best heels in the game right now. Um, you know, not so to mention she, within her team, she can be a little more geared up. We have her. You, yeah. you have her at the sixty level, and the rest of the team at forty five. And this is what I have them at. And Shuri yeah. just kind of keeps the team alive and keeps them doing. Uh, it's also the synergy on on giving the team charge, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes them kind of run a little better, even with Shuri being a higher gear level. Yeah. Um, and then the, the last three might be a little bit more controversial based on you know your opinions on them, um, but I, we have again we talked about it we we discussed it and then, and we decided that Wave One just was pro- is, is they're probably team number twenty one, um, and and we are talking like straight team right we're not necessarily talking about all these hybrids because and, and that's and that's probably where we're going to end up going because as you see I mean we've got what uh, seven teams right here. So we've we've got technically twenty seven synergy teams in this game right now that we that we can build, and you're only using twenty and more, and that's and twenty and more is again assuming you're buying four uh, extra attacks, which a lot of people are not. So we're Very already true. kind of stretching the the goals the 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 lines anyways. Yeah. But you know, wave one if you're given wave one if you start the account you know around the same time that we did, which was two months ago, the beginning of the year. Um. They're they're a very good, solid early game team. You know, if you're building the Asgardians, Thor's coming off though, so you don't want to, you know, and, and technically if you're building the power armor, which we'll get into later, you know, you're taking Iron Man off. So it's kind of a four man team too. So that's part of the reason why um, it didn't make the cut. And same thing for the the last two. The they have huge potential in the Young Avengers and the X Factor, but they're they're partial teams right now. Yeah. Um, you know, the X Factor only has two characters. Young Avengers only has four. four. Now they, because of Miss Marvel, you throw a brawler in there. You throw Captain Marvel in there, and, and they're ridiculous. Um, but you know, so they they they're one of those that if you kind of lean into in the early game, um, they'll take you far. But again, it doesn't mean that the, the the stability lasts to the end game. So you just want to be careful with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that it's, it's one of those if you luck into them <clears throat> great if you but don't go chasing them just to oh you, just be like oh i need to have right. this team because young avengers are good they have a good synergy especially when you throw iso on them they become a completely different team um and mm-hmm. we you know we out on our on on our deck gummit alt we lucked into a really early game squirrel girl pool um mm-hmm. so we have the full we have the full team. We've got Captain Marvel from uh, Dark Dimension calendar that they gave us, um, and or yeah, Widowmaker um, calendar that we have, and so we've got the five characters that makes um, a very uh, pretty potent early game team, especially with if you're if you're using um, uh, an arena, you throw Captain Marvel in there, and she just one shots fools. Um, I can remember when I first got her on my main account for, I used her for a long time for probably three or so months on my, um, on my main account. And she was just, she just did the work. And then I kind of saw this, you know, I I started climbing and I kind of plateaued and then her, her, her versatility and what she could do just kind of dropped off pretty quick as, as some of the players alongside me got, got the newer characters. They got, they got a full team of guardians. They started getting these legendary characters that I mm-hmm. wasn't, I was a little bit behind on. So mm-hmm. I was able to stay with them just because of one particular character. But then she fell off for me. So I had to move but it on. It doesn't mean, cause I've seen high level captain. Oh, Marvels, oh, absolutely. And they still one shot my oh, characters. Yes. So, so, the, and also, again, to frame what we're talking about here, we're talking about, we're really talking kind of efficiency, yeah. and and we're talking about you know your resource management. If you're going to work on specific characters, where should you take them to? Our Captain Marvel is a little stronger than the rest of the Young Avengers, but she's one of those you can put gear into. You're not going to regret putting gear into her. No, but there's also this thing called scarcity that we have to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, and as a bio character, <laughs> do we? I mean, do we no, want to? And, and, then, and that's kind of why the teams were chosen the way they were, and and again, that's also why within the teams that we have decided, 
the individual characters have their own gear tier. Captain Marvel is absolutely wonderful in the in the early game. If you can build her up early and or you can get really good red stars on her, then she is worth, you know, um, continuing to use and invest in the late game. But, you know, as, as Biscuit said, you know, new characters eventually catch up. She starts hitting people, and it's just a tickle at that point. And it's, you know... It, <laughs> You don't want to put all of your investment in one character and then realize, oh, well, shoot, that's not working anymore. Um, unless, of course, you know, like we talked about in one of your other videos, she's your favorite character in the whole wide world. Then, you know, have fun, do whatever, right. enjoy the game. Exactly. But from a competitive standpoint, there's a stopping point. Hey, guys, player here. Uh, we are cutting this video into two sections, actually. So... We're going we're gonna to continue this in a second video that's going to come out a little bit later. Go check that out. We'll have that up in the eye whenever this is finished. Anyways, we've been rambling on way too long. We are like halfway through this list. We will see you guys in the next video talking about teams.